How's it going everybody, Daniel here, you're watching Danibal Tech and in this video I'm going to show you guys some hidden features on iOS 7 and as you guys can see I'm running it right now so this version is actually iOS 7 beta 6 so some of the features that were initially on iOS 7 may not be here and I'm going to show you this throughout the video and actually this is probably the latest firmware until the final version that is released by Apple to developers which, are, which is the Golden Master version so uh, just keep in mind this is the probably the latest and less buggy version you're gonna get until the official release so uh, let's go ahead and get started so the first one actually these features were not shown on the keynote so that's why it's called hidden features so probably you have never seen it before or have seen it in other videos so uh, if you go here the first one I'm gonna show you is a live clock as you guys can see the clock updates itself and matches the time on the phone and actually the second hand of the clock is actually moving as you guys can see right now and the time here as you guys can see is the same time as the time of the phone which is 246 right now next one I'm gonna show you guys is a uh, hidden feature on the compass application which is a level so that actually kills uh, some other applications that were built just for that so if you if you see here we have a we have a compass and if you swipe left, if you swipe right, you have a level. As you can see, my table is not 100% leveled. But uh, if if you if it were 100% leveled, you would see this. Wait, just a second, if I can get it. Yeah, it's green, so it shows it's completely leveled. And it does that uh, horizontally and vertically as well. I don't know if I can get this. You you can see that. Just just for a second. And as you guys can see, it is leveled vertically as well. So that's it for this second feature right now. So let's go ahead and go to the next hidden feature, which is QR code. They have built-in QR code on the, the Passbook application. So if you have some QR, QR code and you want to take a look at it or store on the application, you can just hit here, scan code, and it's going to scan your barcode, your barcode, and QR code as well that's pretty neat for people who use it and you don't have to have to download another application you just have that built in iOS 7 next one I'm gonna show you guys just a little thing but it may change uh, a lot of things because some people really hate newsstand and really hate the way you can't put it in a folder uh, so actually I have there are several ways of doing that by jailbreaking your device and hacking it and I have actually done a video before showing you guys this so uh, now you can do it you just hold and just can create and you just can create a folder so that's pretty neat for everybody who actually didn't like this next one I'm gonna show you is voicemail now on voicemail you can go here on voicemail obviously I, I, I must disable airplane uh, mode but it just won't do that because I may receive calls and everything but on uh, voicemail now you can you, you can uh, save your greeting message just on the application don't have to run through like the old version so you just you would tap that and it will show like uh, uh, record uh, greeting message so we just do that so that's pretty neat as well next thing I'm going to show you guys is on the weather application which you guys know it looks really nice now so on this sorry about that so on on here you have for example city right here and if you want to take a look on the on, on all your your cities you can tap this button right here or you can basically pinch like this so this is pretty neat as well just a small hidden feature next thing I'm going to show you guys is the multitasking the new multitasking feature which you guys all know looks really nice but now you can do that on several applications so if you just let me just show you so you get three fingers and then you swipe up and now the three things go away just like that so that's pretty neat if you have loads of applications opened at the same time alright guys the next thing the feature I'm gonna show you is on the camera app on video mode and that is the first one is actually how to zoom while recording the video so you press the record button and then you can zoom in while doing the video zoom in and out no problem it's gonna keep keep filming it and you don't lose a, call, a, lot of, a lot of quality so it's really interesting because back in iOS 6 you had to zoom before doing the video and that zoom would stay during the whole uh, footage of the video itself and the next one is actually while recording as well 
you can press uh, this button right here, I don't know if you can see there it is, this button right here and it will take a picture of the video so you just press the button took a picture took a picture while doing the video so that's pretty neat and interesting alright one feature that Apple has cut of iOS 7 beta 6 actually they have cut on iOS 7 beta 5 as I told in the beginning of the video is panoramic lock screen and home screen so back in those old betas you could take a panoramic photo and then set that as your home screen or lock screen wallpaper so it would move as as you move your phone so that was really awesome everybody loved it it was a hidden feature but Apple cut it uh, people say it's gonna come back probably they have cut it because it was draining a lot of battery and battery life using that was terrible so that's why Apple has cut it and it's probably developing so it won't drain all your battery life so but if you're running a lower beta version you could you could do that by going to settings general sorry settings wallpaper and brightness choose wallpaper and here on my panoramas you just select the panorama and set and it's gonna it's gonna do that now it won't do that it would just get the first Pick the first part of the picture right here, so it won't do anything. All right, next feature, which is really really interesting, is uh, block contacts. So if you're gonna if you go to your phone and contacts, and you select a contact, and I'm not gonna go I'm not gonna go back. Sorry guys, I'm gonna see all my contacts. But you simply select a contact and you scroll down, and you can block this caller. So we will block the contact. You will not receive phone calls, messages, or FaceTime for these people. For these people, so then you block contact and it is blocked so it's really really interesting that next one and the last one is actually spotlight search because as you guys all know the spotlight search on previous iOS versions was like uh, swiping left swiping yeah swiping left so then you would have the spotlight search but it was really buggy and nobody liked it and now spotlight search is simply dragging down on the home screen so dra drag down and you can type and, and search whatever you want on the phone and you can do that in any of the of the screens just by swiping down and it's really interesting works as it worked before but it's it's less boogie and uh, it's just easier to use it alright guys so that's it for the best iOS 7 hidden features on the iPhone I really hope you like this video please make sure to subscribe so you are notified when I post a new video on your home on your YouTube homepage also rate like thumbs up and favorite this video really helps me out a lot so we we'll catch you guys in the next video bye bye